What's up everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for coming to check the video out. Today we've got a power armor repair shop near Mama Dolce's that I had recently finished. And I am a sucker for lore friendly stuff. So, yeah, here we go. I'm going to give you a, a quick run through of it. And then, stick around, I'm actually going to explain some of the things I did. Let's run in here and we're going to go ahead and turn off this weather station that way we can see. So the original idea of this was maybe there was some sort of uh, automotive and truck repair shop back before the war and that somebody came in and they turned it into a power armor repair place. You know, I mean, it makes sense. It's a workshop. So the actual, you know, quote, displays I, I tried to make it look like an elevated work platform where you could lift the power armor up if you needed to work on something you could put it at any height I like my camps to be functional you can't see when you're changing your power armor skin so I always put track lighting or some sort of light that you can flip on yourself as the user and it lights up the front of the power armor so you can actually see what the heck it looks like and I have one in front of each power armor station because these are all fully functional. I really like a functional camp for being out in the world. I don't build in custom worlds. And on one point, that's really dumb of me because you get a heck of a lot more budget. Of course, I, I did some merging with the, uh, the new chess boards 
on the chemistry benches and things like that. Let's check out the bathroom real quick. Nothing crazy in here. It's just decorated. I did merge the box in, you know, with the, the sink. Nothing ridiculous. The workbench being stuck in the wall like that, uh, that was, it, it wasn't bad at all. I mean, you can just stick the walls right between there if it's lined up properly, which is stupid on my part because I thought I'd have to burn the walls and everything else. No, no, it, it works absolutely fine. You just, you know, line it up properly and then throw your walls in. It's not a big deal. I tried every glitch in the world to make that one work and uh, it was completely unnecessary so learn from my stupidity don't do that i got a spot for sleeping here's my little cooking area oh, nothing nothing crazy here um but i do like the lore friendly stuff you know i mean somebody's gonna utilize that concrete truck if, it, if it's you know kind of still functional and it's there but I've got crops. I can craft all my alcohol. I had the turbo furt out there. That way I don't have to have a bunch of crops because obviously they take up a ton of budget because, you know, they're plants. The workshop for your weapons, the workbench, it's still functional. It raises up and down, doesn't clip into anything. And I thought that that really looked, you know, nice. I thought it was a unique want? thing. I hadn't seen anybody do that before. Now, this street light, I did steal from my friend Cowan. I did uh, a little bit of modification on his design. The big thing is floating it at a proper height so you can get the wires to hang and it looks natural. Uh, razor green is a good asset for you. If you want it to look like there's something growing through, you know, uh, like that car over there, for example. I did put some around the dumpster, you know, that skid steer or front end little mini front end loader whatever you like to call it i do have some simulated sliding doors there in, at the garage but i left my wiring exposed i, I wanted it to look you know kind of scrappy and lore friendly and not hide every little thing but i did put everything on switches the power armor displays are on switches so those lights work i can shut off my outside lights if i want Know, just depending on what kind of look that I, I want to go with. I don't always run that uh, weather station. I do a lot when I'm filming because I like the color that it turns some of the lighting with the filter work that they've done to it. But other than that, uh, I don't always run it. So this is part of that lore friendly thing. I was trying to, you know, they had some sliding garage doors. But if they had to pull a big vehicle in there, like a concrete truck or whatever they needed to work on, they could raise the upper door and you had plenty of clearance to get it in there. That was a pain in the ass to get everything lined up. Uh, very doable, obviously, but a little bit of pain in the butt. You got to do some finagling. It's nothing ridiculously crazy, though. It's not, not the end of the world stuff. I did throw some neon lights on the power displays you know the power armor displays the cabling kind of worked out because from a distance it kind of looks like that might be something that's helping pull that display vertically but through you know the neons on there that way it would give a little bit of accent lighting i hate the bright white lights that are on those displays. It just overexposes everything and just whites everything out. It, they look like crap. Uh, one of my buddies, Duck, he gave me the idea for my sign uh, about putting the mirror balls. You can actually stick it in that light. And here I simply just merge my cryo fridge into the generator. Again, you know, a lot of these merges are nothing crazy, but it saves space in your actual environment and it adds, you know, a little bit of uniqueness to your designs. So give it a try, you know, you're not losing anything. But my friends, until next time, I do hope you enjoyed this little tour and me explaining kind of what the thought process was behind it. Till then, uh, 
I'll see you next time. Be safe in the wasteland. Like, subscribe, share, and I love you.